hello friends uh, welcome again and this is my new project total booking system and i have developed this project in python django and mysql the version for the python i am using is python version 3.7 and django version is 2 and mysql version i am using 5.2 sorry 5.6 and for connecting python django with mysql i am using the py mysql you can also use the python mysql django connector uh, and you will get it on uh, mysql.org website. You can install it on your Windows system and after that you can connect your Python and Django with mysql, right? So this is the server technology and the database technology and for front-end development, development because it's a Django application So we develop web application in Django. So for front-end development I have used HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used for creating some good effects also integrating other form validations and the date calendar plugins i have used jquery plugins right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project right so let's start with the functionality go through so the project title is hotel booking system and it's a major project which i had developed in python django and mysql and it's a dbms project because we are performing database operations inside this project using the mysql and the python Right. Also, I have used the cursor based uh, systems for performing CRUD application in it means create, read, update and delete operations. I have not used model based applications of Django, right? We have used the cursor based uh, systems for performing the uh, database operations, right? So let's start. So this is the home page of the project, right? It's a bootstrap theme means if you open this application in uh, mobile app or the tab or the bigger size screens then the ui will not be distorted right means ui will be fit according to the screen size right so this is the home page of the project this is about and it's about the project right about total booking system if you want to change the content of this about page you can change it from about dot html which is available inside the templates folder this is the all rooms which all rooms which is available inside the hotel all the room types right will be available here right so you can see these are the room pictures and these all rooms are coming from the database right if you want to add more rooms then you can add it right from the data from admin panel i have also implemented the admin panel inside this project so there is customer login as well as custom uh, admin login inside the system this is a book room right so in book room you can book the room right and uh, you can enter the from date to date and total persons and after it you can book the room these are registrations right from where you will be able to register inside the website and after registration after login you will be able to book the room right this is the login if you have the user id and password then you can uh, use that user id and password uh, for booking the room if you don't have then you can create your user id and password from register link this is a contact us this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page so this is a static contact us page right so now i am now i am going to log in as a customer so the user id is customer and password is test so once customer log in inside the system then customer will get his dashboard right here you can see my orders, miss my bookings, my account, change password, right? In my order section, he will be able to find all of the bookings which he has made, right? So if he want to see the booking, just click on the view and after that, he will be able to see the booking, right? One more thing I want to show you. If this, both of the booking has been cancelled, right? If you want to cancel any booking, just click on the cancel. And after canceling the bookings, you will not be able to cancel it again, right? So the cancel button is not appear here, right? So you can see the cancel. This is a cancellation, right? Okay, this is my bookings. This is a my account from where you will be able to update your account details, right? You can change your email ID, password, contact number, address. You can change it from here. This is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password, right? Now I am going to book a room. So for booking a room, click on the book the room and select the date from date and the to date uh, this one right so i am staying for two days and number of persons two right once you click on the search room then it will show all of the rooms option with the book now button right you can select any of the room right so i am selecting this one once you click on the book room then you will get this screen right where you will get all of the information this is the room number type of the room double bedded room and the cost of that room is 1200 per day and from date and to to date and total number of persons who are staying right 
once you click on the continue booking then it will ask for the credit card details so it's a dummy page it's not a real credit card details right so enter any of the any of the card right any of the garbage value or dump details right i am not making any type of external transactions it's not real it's not a real payment gateway then enter the name of the card so i am entering my name i am entering junk values right this one expiry date and the expiry year right amount this is the amount it's automatic right it's automatic means because you are uh, because uh, you you have selected uh, sorry uh, yeah so you have selected two days that's why it's saying uh, it's uh, showing 2400 because the room was uh, tariff was 1200 per day right that's saying 2400 is right because for two days right because the tariff for one day was uh, 1200 rupees right once you click on the make payment you will get the booking confirmation right so this is the booking id booking status email id all of the informations this all information is picked up by your registration form and this is the room details once you, if you want to print the receipt just click on the print receipt right and after that that receipt will be printed and if you want to see that booking in your booking history just click on the my bookings and you will get that booking like right? this one right so sorry uh, i think uh, so I'm looking right room number yes this one this one if you click on the view right then you will get the okay this one is the okay 18 to this and there and you are staying for two days right? okay so this is the my booking section right so this is the flow customer will search the room and after that he will be able to book the room right and tariff will be calculated automatically according to the stay of um, duration of your stay right so the last option is logout once you log out from the system show this above menu is totally session driven and if you log out then the above menu in the above menu section you will not get any type of administrative options right okay so now i am going to log in as an admin so for login just use the admin and username is password in the test so test once you log in inside the system using admin and test you will get a bigger dashboard means that is the admin panel we are using the same login form for the customer and the admin but the internal functionality will be changed according to the session level right if customer is logging then session will be different if admin is logging then session will be different and internal functionalities will be changed according to the session as i told you earlier this above menu is the totally session driven and it renders the menu according to the permissions and rules of rules and permissions right okay so let me go through one by one so here there is add new room right from here you can add any number of rooms right so currently we have added near about eight to ten rooms but if you want to add more then you can add any number of rooms here right this is an add room type so you can add room types like executive ac non-ac president suits like that this is the room report all of the room which you have added will be displayed here right if you click on the edit then you will be able to update the information and you can submit it right and that information will be updated into the database this is the bed report all of the bed type means what type of bed is it's a single bed double bed triple bed this is the drop down menu right and this all drop downs are here right so these all drop downs are dynamic right so room type these there are two drop downs and both of the drop downs are dynamic this is a room type report right all of the room type you can add it right this is our order report order means all of the uh means booking uh, made by the customer you can see all of the details here right this is a customer report means all of the customers who has been registered inside the system you can see the customer listing here you even you can edit it also right this is a my account section from where you can update your account details and uh, change password from where you will be able to update your account password and log out once you log out then none of the administrative option will be displayed because it's a session driven and if session destroys then the menu will be changed so let me show you you can see the menu has been changed after logging out from the system 
right so this all operations i have developed inside the project total booking system which i have developed in python django and mysql and it's a major dbms web based project right major because it has admin and the customer login app both right so if you need more functionality inside this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the thing is i will make this project more beta and beta according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much